All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Kalkadash, Barakatham. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who were well. And a salute and a shalom to all the Akim that are out of labor, pushing this truth in all sincerity and in truth. Uh, real quick, um, the title of this lesson is going to be called The Anchor. Okay? The Anchor. Now, an anchor is a heavy object attached to a rope or chain and used to moor a vessel to the bottom kind of uh kind of, uh, to the sea bottom uh it says uh, uh um the typically one having a metal shank with a ring at one end for the rope and a pair of car comp of curved or barbed flukes at the other. Okay. All right. So an anchor um when the ship or when the boat is no longer um is no longer in use okay the um i forgot uh what's the name of the person that drives the ship kind of i guess the captain of the ship he um i guess that's what it is the captain of the ship he um uh, he throws the anchor uh, um uh, um, overboard okay and the anchor it basically sinks to the uh, bottom of the sea all right and it stops the ship or the boat from moving all right uh, 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 um, uh, even when there's waves and all of that right the boat does not move now in this knowledge we have an anchor in this knowledge and what's that? That's faith. Let's get, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. This is, uh, first let's get this. Uh, Ephesians. Ephesians 2 and 8. It says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and not that of yourselves, it is the gift of Yahweh. Not of works, lest any man should boast. Okay? Faith is this. Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Okay, so faith is the foundation that we must have in this knowledge. See, it says what? A setting or placing under, thing put under, uh, um, substructure, foundation, that which has foundation is firm. So our foundation in this knowledge is faith. Okay. Let's jump down. Verse 13, right? It says, these all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them. And confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Now, an anchor, when it's thrown overboard, okay, it sinks to the bottom of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, of the sea or the ocean, okay, 
and it embraces what? It latches hold onto what? Onto the bottom of the seat. All right. Uh, um, uh, and sometimes, uh, um, 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 it latches on to a rock at the bottom of the sea, okay, or at the bottom of the ocean, okay. Now, we have a rock in this knowledge. That rock is who? That rock is Yahweh Shammashia, okay. Yes, that rock is Yahweh Shai. We have faith in Yahweh Shai. We believe on Yahweh Shai. Okay? Why? Why? Because he's our because he's our way back to Yahweh, man. He's our way. Man, he's the only way back to Yahweh. He's the only way to the kingdom. He's the only way to salvation. Okay? Because he, he said what? He said this here. Okay? This is John 14 and 6. Yahweh shall saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Okay, so Yahweh Shai, he's the only way back to Yahweh, he's the only way to salvation. Okay? So we have latched on to who? On to Yahweh Shai. Okay, man, by having what? Faith in him. It says founded upon a rock. This is uh, Luke. Luke um, 6 and 48 to 49. It says, He is like a man. Well, I'll start at 47. Whosoever cometh to me and heareth my sayings and doeth them. So you are being what? A doer of the word. And not only a hearer, but a doer also. I will shew him. It's like I will shew you to whom he is like. He is like a man which built. <coughs> he is like a man which built in house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. That rock is who? Yahweh Shah. Okay? And that foundation is what? Our faith. Okay? Having faith on who? On Yahweh Shah Mashiach. It says, and when the flood arose. Right, so you start to what catch hell, right? Uh, uh, misfortune, right? Your woman may may take your son or your daughter from you because you're in this knowledge. Okay, it says the stream beat vehemently upon that house and could not shake it. For it was founded upon a rock. That a rock is Yahweh Shah. But he that heareth and doeth not, he is like a man that without a foundation built in house upon the earth. Now, this man, he didn't have faith. Okay, he didn't believe. Okay, he just heard heard the word. All right, and he was just going going through. All right, um, and he was just going through the motions. He wasn't doing shit. 
Okay? He wasn't praying. He wasn't doing nothing, man. He was just going through the motions. All right, man? He was only wearing the fringes every single day, right, to impress the people. Against which the stream did beat vehemently, and immediately it fell. And the ruin of that house was great. Right? So, this man that didn't, that didn't have faith, he wasn't being a doer of the word. Right? He didn't have faith in the word. Okay? So, when, so he was just going through the... So he, he was just going through the motions, all right? And he started catching hell, all right? His woman probably gave him uh, uh, um, an ultimatum, all right? Saying, uh, um, if you stay in this, uh, 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 well, whatever you, you are doing, then I'm leaving. And what, and what did he do? He, he got weak, he bitched up, okay, and he gave up. All right, so his woman took him out of the knowledge, took him out of the truth. All right, or he must have lost his, his uh, job, all right? So he came, so he came up on what? Misfortune. He couldn't take it. So he gave up. Let's get one more script. This is uh, James 2 and 17. It says... Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew thee my faith by my works. Right? Thou believest that there is one power. Thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Right? So, if you say you have faith, you got to have works. To prove your faith. Because if you don't, then your faith is dead. Meaning you don't have any. But without, Khan says, but without no, O vain man, that faith without works is dead. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Okay, because... Because uh, uh, Abraham, he feared Yahweh, man. He feared him. Okay, all right, man. So, so what does Yahweh Bashem? So what does so what does Yahweh Bashem Yahushua um, value more? Love for him or fear? Fear. It says. Seest thou how faith wroth with his works, and by works was faith made perfect. So Abraham's faith was faith was made perfect. Okay, because he had a balance of what? Works to prove his what? Faith. And the scripture was fulfilled, which said, Abraham believed Yahweh, and it was imputed unto him. For righteousness. And he was called the friend of Yahweh. Ye see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. All right. So. All right, man. So. We're not justified just by keeping the law. No man is justified by the law. Okay? So, you have to have what? 
faith and works. Okay? Because if you uh, uh, um, because if you don't have works, you don't have faith. Come on, man. Likewise, also was not um, Rahab, the harlot, justified by works when she had received the messengers and sent them out another way. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So with that, I say Shalom.